Ever wondered how it feels like to live during the times the towering apartments and gated homes didn't exist and all you have is a mountain to carve on or land to dig in? Cave dwellings have been found in numerous districts of the world. Welcome back to our channel, Rosie with you and Edsa from Couples Wanderlust. These halls served as homes and as spots of love and were normally joined with surface structures. After the whole urban areas stopped to be occupied, the surface structures fell into ruin and just the hollows remained. Let us go back to the ancient and still existing homes better known as cave dwellings that can be found in the different places around the world. Varzia Caves, Georgia In the late 111s, Queen Tamar ordered the constructions of an underground sanctuary to protect them from the attack of Mongol holders. The fortress was built into the side of Eroshelli Mountain with 13 levels containing 6,000 apartments, a throne rooms, and a church with a bell tower. The underground village was safe from the Mongols but it wasn't able to escape nature when an earthquake destroyed more than two-thirds of it. It now remains a historic site maintained by Ziala's monks. Sassi di Matera, Matera, Basilicata, Italy Homes had been curved out of a soft, tough rock mountain in Matera that later created the ancient town of Sassi di Matera. Its inhabitants are believed to be among the first people who settled in Italy with evidence of their stay from as early as year 7000 BC. The government relocated the inhabitants of Sassi di Matera in 1950 due to unhealthy living conditions. The area came back to life when the government decided to promote the place as a tourist attraction. The caves are now filled with pubs, hotels, restaurants, and more. Guiyajou Yanqing, China Located 80 kilometers from Beijing, you can find the magnificent caves of Guiyajou, chiseled in the secluded George, in the west of Yanqing country. It is known as the first maze in China, and the second Chaokodian Peking Man site and when you see the actual site there are no titles easy to think of for these caves look like they formed naturally out of the shape slopes there is no definite date that tells the origins of the shelter construction there are a total of 117 caves with 91 of them scattered along the southern northern and eastern slopes of the front George, while the rest are on the eastern slope of the rear George. Cave houses in Matmata, Tunisia. If you look closely, they might remind you of that certain movie setting. Did you say Star Wars? That's right. These traditional cave houses in Matmata show how the Berber people had adapted to the hot environment of the Tunisia desert. They dig a large pit for about 7 meters deep and 10 meters wide to create their homes and connect to the other country yards to create their maze-like underground community. Mesa Verde, Colorado, USA Mesa Verde, located in southwestern Colorado near the community of Cortez, is home to the famous cliff dwellings of the ancient Anasazi people. It may be the most significant archaeological preserve of Native American culture in the United States. In the 12th century, the Anasazi start building houses in shallow caves 
and under rock overhangs along the canyon walls. Some of these houses were as large as 150 rooms. The most famous of these are called Cliff Palace and Spruce Tree House. By 1300s, all of the Anasazi had left the Mesa Verde area, but the ruins remain almost perfectly preserved. The reason for this sudden departure remains unexplained. Theories range from the crop failures due to droughts to an intrusion of foreign tribes from the north. Did you find our video interesting? Write your comments below if we are contributing an information. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to notify with our next video. Bamiyan Caves, Afghanistan Before Afghanistan became a no-go for tourists because of its long series of wars, there were the Bamiyan Caves which was one of the country's most popular attractions. The caves were created by the 2000 Buddhist monks who inhabited the caves as hermits and made Bamiyan a Buddhist religious site. The caves were later used by the Taliban for storing weapons and became a refugee shelter when the Taliban left. Around the standstone cliffs of Bamiyan is also where the three large Buddha statues stood before the Taliban destroyed them by dynamite. Uchi Shark, Cappadocia, Jerome, Turkey Hundreds of rooms are allowed out in Oshishar, the highest point of Cappadocia, where you can have a magnificent view of the surrounding area of Mount Ursia included. The rooms are connected by the built-in stairs, tunnels, and passages. Nowadays, some of the rooms are inaccessible due to the erosion and most of the rooms left are used as pigeon houses. Kandovan, Osku, Iran Situated in Iran's East Azerbaijan province, Kandovan is a baffling 13th century town. Large portions of the homes at Kandovan have been made in hollow situated in molded actually framed compacted volcanic cinder developments that make the scene resemble a tremendous termite province. A large portion of the cavern houses are two to four stories in tallness. In a common four-story house, the ground floor is utilized as a creature haven, the following two stories are utilized as living territories, and the top floor is utilized for capacity. The solidified material of the columns is an effective protector and the cavern residences stay cool in summer and warm in winter. Bandiagra Encarpment Ereli Mali The Bandiagra Encarpment is a sandstone precipice in the Dogon Nation of Mali that ascends right around 500 meters from the lower sandy pads beneath. These precipices are dubbed with antique hollow homes of the Telem individuals. These individuals cut their folds under the precipices of the ledge so that their deeds could be covered high over the blaze surge that are regular to the zone. They manufactured many towns along the precipices over the hollows. In the 14th century, the Dogon individual drove out the Telem and they remained the occupants of their territory right up till today and is one of the favorite spots among rock climbers. Ortahisar, Cappadocia, Gorame, Turkey Known as Anatolia's biggest fairy chimney, Ortahisar is home of the foothills filled with two-story houses and steep valley dotted by pigeon houses. Now, most of the houses are restored and boutique hotels have popped up to serve Cappadocia's visitors. When visiting Ortahisar, don't forget to see the Ortahisar Castle and Helakder Monastery. 
If you like our pics, give a thumbs up and share with your friends. For more information about travels and world's wonder, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!